What's up, guys? Sarah Strike here, and welcome back to her story. Now we are getting so close to the ending, I can fucking feel it! Okay, continue. Click. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me while I cough. Okay, um, so we're getting there. Like, we're fucking getting there. Um, okay, I want to look up. I don't know if I looked up sisters yet. Let's see what sisters does. Okay, so that was this video. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Um. Is that added? Please tell me that's added to the session. Yeah, it was added to the session. What did you do to your sister? Gone. Okay. Yeah. They gone to bed feeling ill. Thinking it was flu or something. The neighbor called me. I had to use my key to let them in. We found them dead in their bed. And they'd been there for days. No one had noticed. Just awful. It was so soon after my miscarriage. In the worst year of my life. And I'd been so happy to get married. And after that, it was just like... Fuck. Wow. God, we're getting close. I could feel it. No, it's okay. The other detective has just gone to get me one. Okay. I'm not sure what that was about. Oh, that was probably about her uh, tea or coffee or something. We need to finish this, but I can't figure out what. Um... Oh, I don't know why. Oh! I don't see how it's hard. We've established I was in Glasgow when he was killed. Excuse me. We've spoken with the hospital. Okay. So that's still her trying to get her alibi across. She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him. She used past tense. And when you love somebody, just because they leave, that doesn't mean you stop loving them. Both my grandfathers and my great-grandmother are dead. They, they, my great-grandmother just died. March 4th, um, on my parents' 27th anniversary of old days. And even though she's gone, I still love her. And I will always love her. She said she loved him. I don't like it when people use past tense, when they're talking about somebody that they love when they're gone. I, I absolutely hate that. That's such a pet peeve for me. It always has been and always will be. God, that just makes me... Okay, so... Loved. Right, we got even more. We are really full of shit. No, everyone loved Simon. He's a glazier. He doesn't have much money. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, she's still. Oh, I don't know. We loved our cat, Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell. And we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Hmm. So, secret notes. So, let's go to the notes. I still want to find out. Okay, so we can't do that. Um, 31 entries. Gee, I can't, I hate the fact that I only accessed the first five. I still want to know what she did to her sister. <coughs> Cut. Wait. Ah! We were obsessed with fairy tales. Not just the pretty, pretty ones, but the traditional ones. They were dark and real. Bizarre and violent. I'm not to move it too much. I'm moving my 
God damn it. We had this huge old book. I was such a small that setup. I think Master bought from a library sale. The illustrations had thin tracing paper over them to protect them. They were in colour, shiny plates. At the front of the book was an index of illustrations. We read that more than the actual stories. We'd read aloud the captions and flip between the pictures. There was something intimate about peeling back the tracing paper and dressing the pictures. Rapunzel's hair was cut. The eagle plucks out his heart. The princess pricks her finger. Mm. I do like original fairy tales. I will say that they are some of my favorite fairy tales. The the original traditional ones, not so much the um, the other ones, the, um, the the ones that you see on Disney now and, and, and in kids' books these days. So they're, they're so watered down compared to the original stories, and I think it's kind of just twenty first set twenty and twenty first century censorship, in my opinion, because the old original stories were supposed to teach us lessons teach kids how to be okay about things, you know? And I feel like it's been very much degraded over the years. It, 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 they have. They've been very much degraded over the years. Why are you turned off? God, you are just bright. I thought I turned you all the way down. I'm sorry. I'm messing with the brightness on my... That's as dark as you get. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a filter screen over my other screen. Um... Okay. So... I already do gone, I already do gone. She's gone and she's not coming back. Oh, hello. He has a wallet, a huge silly thing. Leather, real leather, I think. He packs it full of stuff, business cards, receipts, lottery tickets. He always carries it in his back pocket. I think that's why he's got a bad back. Sets the discs. I haven't seen it, so he must have it on him. He always takes it out of his back pocket before when he comes in, if he's in the house. Okay. Um, now, there is something about his glasses. I think she said that she couldn't find them after she found the, found the body. Um, oh, Monster, I need to get new glasses. Okay, oh, here's something. Look, on his clothes, that would make sense. He made it by hand. I mean, he brushes the silver onto the glass. That's not how they make mirrors these days. I mean, he made the mirror. I mean, he gave it to me. Hmm. I just want to know more about the affair. Okay, that's more about the affair. An affair? Simon wasn't having an affair. <laughs> yeah, right. You're reaching here. And I don't know why. No, I've never cheated on anyone. I've never taken anything from anyone. Simon's dead. But I have my baby to care for. Why are you trying to make me sad? Why are you so obsessed with sex and affairs? You cheated on your wife. Is this your thing? That was very blunt. She does not like cops. I can understand why though. So, we are filling this in. And what did your wife do? She didn't kill you. You think I killed Simon because he was having an affair? Well, I didn't kill him. I wasn't even there. I was in Glasgow worrying about whether my baby was still growing inside me. I mean, why would I kill Simon? I loved him! God, I love the actress they picked for this. She's actually in a band. She's a singer and she's in a band. Um, <laughs> God, I love her though to death. So, sad. Yeah, there's more. 
She's crying, I guess. She's sad because she thought she saw her husband with another woman. But it's okay because she finds out it wasn't her husband, it was his brother. And so it's fine. Okay. Oh, this is when they're asking her to make up stories and they're giving her pictures about it. So she's trying to make up stories with these pictures. But Simon's parents offered to put me up, but I didn't think it would be a good idea. It would be too sad. Not right now. I'm staying at a friend's. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Friends. All right. No, he was a shy as me. I asked, well, I asked a friend to ask him out for me. We had our first date at the Odeon in North End. We went to see Whiskey Business. I had on my one best dress. Simon paid. He bought me a whisper, and I was worried about getting chocolate on my teeth. Okay. I remember because Eve said that they had gone back and forth into the restroom to change out the dress. Eve, she, they were afraid that he was going to think that she had bladder problems. Mom and Dad never had any reason to notice. They were always busy. If Hannah was eating a lot, they didn't mind. She didn't put on any weight. That girl has a healthy appetite. Um, if they heard us talking in the attic, they just thought it was Hannah playing one of her games. And that Eve was our imaginary friend. Once, she was already up and dressed and ready to go to school and I snuck down for a piss. Mum saw me in my underwear and she went mad. Get dressed this instant! So I ducked into our bedroom <laughs> and seconds later, out came Hannah, dressed and ready. My mum was amazed. Wow. God, I'm gonna keep a secret. I don't know. I don't get it. So, I'm just not sure where to. There's gotta be something else. Okay, um. Her. How about. Okay, I'm just like putting in random words at this point, I'm trying to figure out where to Suicide? go. Suicide? No. I mean, he would never do anything like that. He is not the kind of person to do anything like that. I mean, to hurt himself? No. Okay. She's still, I, I think it's still. Not drugs. I mean, he drinks, but never very much. He goes to the pub and has one or two. Sometimes we go together. He drinks wine with food, but no, he doesn't have any kind of drinking problem. Hmm. What about never coming back? No, it's just that one video. It's got to be this one video. I don't... My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. Left? Oh, okay, there's more stuff. I wasn't in the house all of Friday night. After the argument, after Sandy left, I left too. I was upset and I wanted to get away. So I took the car. Glasgow's really, really far away from her to drive. I mean, that's like hours and hours mm. from where they live. I left the next day, Saturday. Hello. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the house and Simon wasn't there. And I... Oh, Morning sickness. That's when she put her hair up. <laughs> ah! Okay. God, I remember 
when I was pregnant with my son, uh, baby dragon, I was sick every single day. I didn't just have like the regular first trimester pre- uh, morning sickness. I was sick every single day. I was in the hospital. I went to the ER twice. I They found out I had a brain aneurysm. Um, which gave me extreme migraines for the first week. So bad that I was screaming because I thought my head was going to explode. I kid you not, it was that bad. Um, but they could actually see the damage that it's caused because I have scarring in behind one of my eyes that my optician found the last time I got my eyes checked. So my head could explode in a week, I guess. Okay. I uh, I woke up. Simon was already up, and he made me birthday breakfast of eggs Benedict. Uh, we both had to go to work, so we saved presents to later. Um, I got to work, had some birthday cake. Children sang me happy birthday. Then I came home. The birthday meal was a takeaway, um, and Simon gave me his present, which I didn't mind. And after that. We talked about the baby. It turned into a big argument. Simon left. I was furious. I wanted to get as far away as I could and get some space to think. So I left. Mm. God, she she just looks so fucking guilty. Um, okay, so... Did I already look up argument? Let me see. I've looked up so much stuff, I can't even remember. Oh, wait, I saw it, 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 I kind of saw it. I thought I saw it. I thought I saw something that started with an A. Uh, yeah, alibi, argument. There we go. Yep, I looked it up. Because, yeah, because I accidentally put the space thing. No, go away. Um. Yep. Yeah. Yes. What did you do to your sister? That's the part I don't understand. I have no idea what you did to your sister. And that aggravates me. (laughs) It aggravates me a lot. Um, uh, I don't want this video to go on forever. Um, Why? Okay, there's more stuff. I mean, I don't know. Something must have happened to him on his way home. He could be hurt. I mean, why hasn't he phoned? I just, I don't know. Uh. God, I don't know. Could be anyone. Maybe someone followed him back from the pub. But why would he let them in? Doesn't make sense. God, that smile. She is a creepy woman. Okay, uh... Where? This is a nice of them. This is where you take people when it's time to arrest them. I was right there at the very beginning. Okay. <laughs> Yes, this is it. He made it himself. It's a special one-off. He made it and decorated it. That's his thing. Where do you find it? <laughs> In his throat! Um, when? I'm just going to do the who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay, so we did... When and where, and why. So, who? I mean, what if they were crazy? You hear about these crazy people all the time. I mean, why would anyone who knew Simon want to kill him? Hmm. How? Ah! Got more. Could they have been my parents' fingerprints? I'm not sure how long they last for, but... Is that possible? 
God, we are filling this up. I gotta get these last few places. If I get those two, maybe three, if I get those three videos, I think I'd be ready. Um, I don't know if I've already searched this before. I'm not gonna keep looking to see my hood. Body. Um, bag. Trash. No. Um. She says she's gone and she's never coming back. I need a where, right? Yeah, I just searched where. Where, when, who, how, and why. So. Oh, but I didn't. What? Okay, we got more videos. All right. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what strange would be, but he hasn't been acting odd. He's been busy at work, but nothing too stressful. Maybe escape. What about us? That's literally the only other thing I could think of is escape. <laughs> no. Um left gone. Escaped. Ran away. No. We've already seen that one. Um, find. Okay, there's another video. Sure. I think. I do all the bills and paperwork and handle all the money stuff, so it should be easy for me to find. Do you want them dropped off to you? Hmm, paperwork. Okay, so we're ready to that. Uh, think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think, think, think. My sister is gone. And she's never coming back. God, she just freaks me out. Sister. I think we already looked this one up, but yeah, we already looked this one up. Uh, crime. I don't know. Uh, panic. We already looked up sad, right? Yeah. So. Ah, this is getting really hard because I can't figure it out. I've already looked up glasses. I've looked up the watch. Oh, wait. The cellar. It's, it's got to be something about the goddamn cellar. What about boxes? No, so I'll go back to this video. It happened very quickly. We hardly had to talk to each other. We agreed almost silently. The baby was what mattered. We'd help. Baby. Stop it. <laughs> nope, we've already seen that one too. God. I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Um, I don't know. God, I don't know. Ah, this is going to kill me inside. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We did get a little farther. We did clear a few more. Hopefully, we'll finish this in the next episode. God, I'm hoping. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more of my videos. As always, I'm Sarah Strick. I love each and every one of you, and I will play and talk for you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye! They killed him! They...
fucking kill them. That was a confession. Confession. Yeah, totally. Holy shit. 